What's going on guys? Cloud7k bringing you the best in Volibear jungles. Uh, for my masteries, I went 21 in offense, 9 in defense. For my uh, runes, I went ahead and I went 31% attack speed and 12 armor. So I'm going to go ahead and go blue in this video. Uh, bot lane already gets pretty crazy and they decide to invade blue. So I figure, cool, they're setting up a cool distraction. Volley can just go in there and grab Nunu's red and just mess up his main game. The main point what I want to do is I want to go up top lane and I want to fuck up their world. I just want to pick one lane actually and I want to snowball it. But I think this game, this is uh, 3.8 but I still haven't jumped up to utility and tried it out on Volley yet, so I'm just going to be roaming and, and killing, just basically trying to push the game, and I, I don't think we get behind at all in this game, but I'll go ahead and upload a game where I get behind and show you how easy it is to catch back up if you make the right decisions. So Cat's leashing, I tell her to go back to her lane, I don't need her anymore, I, I didn't even need her for that leash up above, but it is nice because then you take less damage. Now Riven. Executed. Riven is already pushed out. And see how I'm going to do this? Well, I decided I was going to go through River anyways because she was low. And she tries to flash out of there. So since she didn't flash, I went ahead and cute her since she doesn't have it anymore. Bitter, walked away. Minions killed me. Died to minions. But that's fine. Now Darius has this lane, free farm. He can push it up, whatever. We secured the kill. So I don't care that I died. <coughs> Minions too damn OP. Now Nunu's gonna try to come in and watch top lane, which is fine because there's nothing he can really do. Actually, he decides to go bot. Let me turn on the fog of war. Let me see right here. No, Sorry guys, I'm not real, uh, <clears throat> I'm not real, uh, experienced with this lead recorder yet, I'm still getting used to it, so, we missed a little bit of action in me, but it was just basically going back and getting my jungle camps and whatnot, so we'll go ahead and speed it up, I wanted my red back, or actually, yeah, I left my red, I could have picked it up whenever I want, well now I see that Yi is pushed out, so I come down, and I'm gonna try to get him, but he gets executed, he pushes Katarina, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attack the lane, push it up. You see this lane, all this XP right here? No one's getting it, so I'm gonna take it. You need to feed yourself, feed your fat ass as much minions as possible. I'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit more. Yi comes in, so I back off, walk away, go bot. I just walk right through the tri bush. I don't even care. I don't remember if it was warded. I don't think it was. But I went ahead and I jumped in and beat the shit out of him. Uh, usually, you want to walk in and you want to roar. You don't want to Q to him. But if you you can Q to him if you know you have the kill. Right there, I knew I had the kill, so I just did the quick combo and bit the shit out of him. For volley, you want to stack as much health as possible. So when I go back next, I need to get a giant spell. And I don't think I did that here. This this is kind of like a different way I was building. It, I mean, it worked, but I, I've changed the way that I play with volley. This game's about a week old or so, but it was a good game. Now, if you can see, I'm already way ahead of Nunu. He's four. I'm six. I got two levels on him. Now I got my spirit stone and a health crystal because that's all I could afford. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it into the uh, gold spirit stone, whatever it's called. Shut down. Right there, I just fucking nuked the shit out of Ezreal because he has no sustain. And that's the reason why you want to tax me on call. You want more procs. You just want to get him down. 
and then bite the shit out of them. They almost died on Dragon. I, I really don't give a shit. I just want to get in there and get the kills and uh, get as much gold as possible. Yee's up here just playing around, so I go ahead and I back off and I go top because top needs a little help. Now look at this here. This is a perfect new new gig right there. Just jumped on him. Eat the fucking shit out of him. Darius got the kill, that's fine. You you want to KS as much as possible uh, when you're starting out, but once the game gets rolling, you don't really need to. You can if you want to. It's not a big deal. So, as you can see, we're, we're even on kills, but we have more gold. We have more gold because we're playing smarter, we're pushing lanes, we're taxing, we're, we're doing everything we can. So now we got Nunu in the middle, and we're waiting for him to come down. And then old Mr. Yi shows up and he pushes too far, so what do we do? Take this fucker out, he thinks he can camp on his turret, fight him, he's gone. And then Nunu will come and try to make his stance like, like he can really do anything at the turret. He's not really doing any damage to me at all, I'm just sitting there taking his shit. But I don't give a fuck, so I back out. I need to go buy some items anyways. <clears throat> go ahead and get my red back. I could I could try to sit there and counter jungle Nunu, but Nunu has that that badass fucking consume, so I'm not even gonna mess with that shit. And then I see Yi. It's like fuck this dude, let's slow this down. My whole team just acts right on top of me and got his ass killed. If you come up to me and I have my ult up or I, I have my passive up, even if I don't, I'm gonna fight you until the bitter end. I'm just gonna fucking die. As long as my team can get there and kill. That's what I tell them. I said, if you see me fight, you come in. It's a fight we can win. So you see, I ran away from that fight. I couldn't fight it. I was gonna die. <clears throat> then I go take Nunu's blue. I don't really give a shit. No action really going on. See Riven. She's being a dumbass. I think I die right here. No, I get it. Yeah, I die right here. But I almost took her out. Yeah. Basically push the game. They could push bottom, they could do whatever, but they don't. They just sit there playing around. So now I see Nunu. I bought a frozen mallet. This is what frozen mallet will do for you. Boom! Ended off with a strong ass bite right there. Let's see what my bite is doing. Oh, I can't see how much my bite is doing. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. It's 260, 119, 15% of health bonus. So it had to have done at least 900 damage right there. So I'm gonna steal his wolves because there's nothing better to do. I could go mid, but we're already pushed up. And. I have no idea where... Oh, this is funny. I went to go steal blue, and I saw Lux's dumb ass there. Thanks for the blue, bitch. Well, it wasn't there, actually. So, let's go ahead and speed this up. I go ahead and I push mid. We needed it. We need to get this game rolling. And we pulled ahead and killed. We're still ahead in gold. Lux tries to stop me at this turret. I think I back off because I see, yeah, I see Ezreal, so I back off. And then I see old good new new. But I'm too fucking fast for him. I get out of there. And if you think my speed's pretty good on this guy, wait until you see my utility build next video. So we fucked up. Let's go back. We fucked up on this one. I went in and I went straight for Ezreal. But we were fucked. There was nothing we could do. And we got overpowered quick. And Caitlyn gets killed right here. She has nowhere to go. We'll just speed it up and wait until I respawn. So. Now we're just roaming. We need to be pushing. I was telling my team this whole game. We need to push some fucking objectives now. 
we need to stop this dancing back and forth. Well, let's get Dragon Rope. Let's get Dragon Rope real quick. There's no way they could be doing... Uh, doing Baron this, you know, this late, but they, they just don't have the ability to do it, and they were split up, we were watching the mini-map, they weren't there, so we just did Dragon. And we got that kill on Nunu earlier, and now Yi's just sitting here. I don't know what the heck he was doing. I don't know if he lagged out or what, but we got the kill anyways. Take this tower, push on in. And it's basically GG here. We snowball right here. I walk out of that hole. You can walk out of Nunu's hole, or you can just go ahead and flip him and get him canceled early so he doesn't do as much damage. But I just decided why take any extra damage that I don't need. So now I'm staying in. I'm going to stay at the inhibitor. I watch this game. He watches as I just eat this bitch. And then he walks away. <laughs> So, Yi is down, or uh, Riven is down, Yi runs off. So, you should have seen the chat, Riven was pissed Rachel's off. This fucking Yi won't let me, or won't help me at all. We could have had that kill, I just laughed and told him, like, life's short. So, for my build, as you can see, I got uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem, I got my Frozen Mallet, my Ninja Tabbies with Home Guards, those are important, and I just stacked a giant spell on top of it. So I'm pretty tanky, I got tenacity, I've got survivability, no one wants to fuck with me right now. And they can if they want, but like right there. they did. But that's how I roll, I die for people, I don't give a shit if I die. Here we lose most of our team. Which is fine, it was a short ace, the shortest ace in A. I go ahead and pick up my blue. I want that blue for cooldowns. I want a little bit more cooldowns. As you can see, let's, let's rewind. Let's slow this down. He gets tore up so fast. There's no point in having him. Oh, he <laughs> I think that was a glitch right there. But he just, he had no chance. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push in here. A summoner has reconnected. Actually, we go around the other side. This is perfect because we ended up uh, catching them off guard, out sustaining them. Now we can do whatever the hell we want. Take this inhibitor out that we didn't take out before. We got a little triple kill there. A little fed volley, never hurt nobody. Fucking lightning at these motherfuckers. We'll go ahead and push these turrets. There's nothing they can do. They got their minions. You see, I'm just fighting them right on their minions. I don't give a shit. And then I still get out of there. Well, I did almost get out of there. Died right there. Alright, look, my team will take this. By the time I get up, we'll be up. I'll be in their base distracting them. My team will be coming in. Katarina does some cleanup. She's got double buffs too, so <laughs> she's OP as a motherfucker right now. So I go ahead and I buy Spirit Visage and War Mugs. I hadn't gone back in a while. So I had tons of money. That's why you don't have to rush back every time you get money for an item. If you're able to survive for that long, just stack up your money. That way when you finally go down, you come back even stronger than before rather than just backing off for a little piece and a little piece there. You want to stay out in the field until you can buy the guide. Because one, you're getting all the experience you need, and two, you're getting all the gold you need instead of backing off. Now you're missing out on gold. This gold tries to run away here. I think he gets away, so I just pound on him. A little bit on Nunu. So I see his ult. I didn't want. Caitlyn to take that much damage, so I flip him to end it early, and then just chase him away. Chase him away from that inhibitor, and it's GG right here. Thanks guys, I hope you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Later.